Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I'm gonna review a canned fish product. It's the last one that Guar Gum sent me. This is the Rugen Fish Fried Herring in Spicy Marinade. Here's a, this thing's heavy. It's um 17.64 ounces. Product of Germany. Rugen Fish, did I say that? I had a couple pieces of toast for breakfast this morning. Um, haven't had anything else before now. Sometimes <clears throat> in the afternoon when my lunchtime gets here, I'll review something before I do my lunch, like some chips or something like that. So it kind of fills a spot. Um, I didn't want to have. I didn't want to. I didn't want to have anything else in my stomach, so I could fit this in there <laughs> not the whole thing I'm, i got a, got a little container here for some of my leftovers here <clears throat> if i have some le left over i don't know if it'll keep or not i don't know i don't know about heating it up but i don't want to waste it you know i hate wasting stuff <clears throat> main fishing area is northeast atlantic <clears throat> fishing method is midwater otter trawls huh otter trawls. That's interesting. Okay. Ingredients. Herrings. Um, you got water, onions, wheat flour, vinegar, sugar, canola oil, tomato paste, salt, hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, <coughs> In parentheses, it says rapeseed and corn, citric acid, natural flavors, spice extracts, sodium citrate, and some dextrose. Man, there's a lot in here. A lot of stuff in here. Okay. Um, let's see. This little... I've never opened a, a can like this before, so... <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's, it's a little different, so I don't know if you can see it or not. <clears throat> All right, so I guess pop it up. Okay, broke it loose. So this is where we're at right now. Got to puncture it right there. Okay. Whoa, that's interesting smelling. <clears throat> okay, so get it over here a little bit. So, dang it, got to get my hand out of the way. Okay. Ch trying to get my hand in there. I pushed a button and stopped the dadgum video. Makes me mad. All right, so I'll have, to, I'll have to have Jeremy help me edit it. Okay, got some onions in here. You can see those sitting on top there. And the fish. Let's see what else we got in here. There's a little redness in there, so there's, that's a tomato paste. Um, irritates me when that happens. <clears throat> you do get a little of that marinade um, aroma. It is a little spicy in the in the aroma. You get a little of the onions, you get the herring.
you get a little of that tomato paste. It smells really good. I'm getting something else. I can't, I just can't put, I can't put my finger on it. <clears throat> okay, I did some of my rice, the basmati rice. Still nice and hot. I kept that little top on there. Just, I just kind of laid it on there, keep the heat in. All right, let's get that out there. Get this kind of spread out here. Okay. It it does kind of have have the appearance of of fried. <clears throat> the skin is really dark. Ooh, what, what is this? Ooh. Part of his backbone. I see the rest of it. Let me grab hold of that. There. Hmm. Those bones, see this is fried. It's not boiled or pressurized or whatever. So you do have to watch out for bones. Um, those those didn't break up when I started chewing on them. So gotta, gotta pay a little bit of attention to that. <clears throat> but that's okay. Sweet marinade. You do get a little of the vinegar in there. Um, Salty. Excuse my ear itching. Um, I do get a little of the onions. Trying to it's weird. And they're very small, but yet I just I don't know. It's part of the backbone right there. I'm just not used to having to watch out for them. It's, it's not really that big a deal. Um, but I was surprised. It doesn't say anything 
on there about the bones. Hmm. Let me just get some pieces out of here. Um, <clears throat> Where's that? comes off the bones pretty good off the little spinal cord comes off pretty good <clears throat> the marinade is a little sticky Tangy. That marinade. It's good. I'm just trying to. There's another spinal cord. Herring is a very bony fish. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of little bones in there. Okay. <clears throat> if you guys need to fast forward, you're totally welcome to because it's just a little bit of a process. I may not notice them that much when I start eating on them because um, they're very, very small. They're not stiff. They're just like a little, they're like a, like a dog hair, kind of a, um, you know, like, like a, like a, um, a bristly dog hair. Um, <laughs> uh, some, some dogs, you, you know, they're soft, they're furry. They, um, their hair is like, like human hair. But then there's some dogs that have like German shepherds kind of have that kind of a, a bristly kind of a thistly kind of hair you know what I'm talking about right so that's what these are kind of like all right <clears throat> let me see if I can successfully pour a little bit of juice on it Let's get a good bite here. Not really good. The, the spicy part is not, um, I don't know if they're talking about heat spice, because 
I'm not really getting any of that yet anyway but there's it is it does have a lot of spiciness <clears throat> spice presence of different spices not necessarily heat type of spices you know what I'm talking about I'm not getting any heat in other words This piece right here. Some skin. Okay, I thought it was like I thought it was like a dorsal fin or something, but it's not. The skin. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. And and you don't necessarily have to watch out for the bones too much. I, I'm not really wanting to chew on the spinal cord if I don't know if it's like pressurized. So. But you guys are going to want to know. Is that spinal cord is it like is it like um hard to, to chew i just pulled some spinal age out <laughs> you do it slowly they all come out pretty good the little bones all right, here's, here's the spinal cord. Nah, it's gristly. You don't want to eat that. I just, I wanted to see for myself what it was like, so. You don't want to eat that spinal cord. It's gristly. It doesn't break up like some of the sardines do. Okay, there's a little spinal edge in there. I couldn't get a hold of it. All right, so I don't want to take up any more of your time. Let's um, <clears throat> just a minute. Let me. I'm touching all this stuff. I did wash my hands, so don't don't worry about that. get at one of my alcohol wipes just to kind of get this off my hands here so I can handle other stuff and not get Rugen fish all over the place. So with this marinade, how would it taste with Cracker, a capiccio, capiccio's cracker, and some hot sauce. I gotta try this hot sauce on everything. All right, <clears throat> let's get the hot sauce ready first. Let's go ahead. I think this is the order I usually do it in. Jamaican choice. <clears throat> Jamaican Choice Calypso Hot Sauce. Get this top off. Get it ready. Okay. 
Here we go. That was okay, but <clears throat> it's not perfect on the pairing with this one. Um, so we'll put that over here. It was all right. That one's already kind of half, it's kind of almost like a marinade itself. So it's, and this is already sweet, so it's, <clears throat> Kind of, kind of going against itself or something. All right, got that one loaded. <clears throat> Let's try the Jamaican Choice Triple X Hell Hot Pepper Sauce. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> that one really didn't do it for me either. And this one's the sweetest of them all. And the spiciest one of them all, the butterlicious. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the rest of this, this video sniffling. You guys don't want to hear that. That helped a little bit. Okay, last one.
a little bone hanging on there. All right, Make sure, we got this lid off first. I put them on too tight. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna have to put this down. I'm losing my. been able to get that off of just that one hand all right here we go this is the pineapple bomb hot sauce bomb 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 <laughs> any of you know what where that come from what movie it come from <laughs> I'm just thinking about the scene making me laugh. Let me know if you know what movie it's from. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. That's a big bite. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's okay, but this this is so different that I just these three are not not pairing well with. I guess it's because it already has the marinade in it. It's already sweetened. It already has a bunch of flavors in it. Um, so it's like you don't really need hot sauce on it. So it just doesn't pair well with it i guess okay rugen fish fried herring and spicy marinade arenque asado I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Arinku, Arinke, Asado, in Escabesh, in Escabe, Escabek. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to Guargum for sending me this. I got a little work to do. I have to clean it up just a little bit, get the bones out of there and stuff in the spinal cords. And, and uh, <laughs> it's okay. But yeah. Where was I? Just Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks again to Guagum. See you all in the next one. Bye.